Thank you and welcome back. Enco Lagete Campus is an African international school, member of the Enco Education Network. Enco Education is the largest network of IB World Schools in Africa, with the mission of increasing access to the world's best university for learners across Africa. Enco Education has developed an innovative model. Our programs lead to globally recognized and sought after qualifications. We are able to offer those at a fraction of the cost charged by other international schools in Africa. Furthermore, ENCO learners are supported in their higher education applications to our university guidance program. We offer an outstanding learning experience striving to educate our learners with Africa at heart and world in mind. ENCO education model is showing impressive results with learners joining top universities like Yale University USA, Sciences Po France, the University of Toronto, Canada, African Leadership University, Rwanda, and many more. And currently, 15 schools across eight African countries, and co-education aims to open 30 more schools over the next five years. Our programs lead to globally recognized and sought after qualifications. We are able to offer those at a fraction of the cost charged by other international schools in Africa. Furthermore, ENCO learners are supported in their higher education applications through our university guidance to high quality international education. Four values guide us. We are caring, committed, path makers, and team spirited. ENCO Lagete Campus is a private international school located in Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon. ENCO Lagete Campus is the first IB school in Cameroon and Central Africa. It offers rigorous learning experiences to its learners to make sure that they are ready to continue their studies in any international university of choice. Enco Lagete Campus also started a primary school with the Cambridge program, which is recognized as the world's number one program for early years development. Our learners are mostly Cameroonians from middle class families with their mission to African roots and global wings by learning about African cultures while being exposed to travel opportunities to study tours, summer camps and conferences. Enco Lagete campus has highly qualified personnel. Twelve of our teachers are IB examiners and all of our staff receive up to 100 hours of professional development per year. The school currently has 151 learners. Enco Lagete campus offers the Cambridge 11 and 12. For learners coming from the national curriculum, Enco Lagete campus developed a foundation year in grade 10, which allows learners to transition to the IB curriculum and to maximize the chances of success at the IB. The foundation year also helps to better language proficiency of students who study in the French before joining the school. Moreover, they can get to adjust with the academic environment, approaches to teaching and learning, types of assessments before they start the IBDP program, or part of the two-year IB diploma. Students take six courses and could earn up to 42 points. This is added to the possible three points for exemplary performance in TOK courses points to any other grading system. For foundation year, grading is based on the IB grade system of 1 through 7. Students have to take 11 subjects, broad-based, to help them make good choices at the level of DP1. They also have to do epistemology, which is a preparatory subject for theory of knowledge in the DP and introduction to research writing to help them prepare for extended essay in the DP level. For IGCSE, grading is based on the Cambridge International Examinations grade system of A to G. Students also have subjects required in the standard levels to choose from, theory and service. Students get involved in different club activities like web development, gardening, chess, basketball, football, journalism, a cappella, community and brain building club, photography, dancing and also school government. These activities help build up students' social skills, earning a career experience after school, build a resume and help in cultural integration. To set the tone for this afternoon's event, let us welcome Madame Veronica Agugu, the IBDP course staff, family members, your achievements in this graduation ceremony. I hope you will enjoy it. The two years of your life in the IB diploma program had many, many challenges and you have grown tremendously. 
It was rigorous and demands were high. And I always said, where there is the will, there is the way. With persistence, motivation, resilience, and perseverance, you made it. After all, the very impressive list of universities which many of you will be heading to, not to mention the impressive offers of scholarship to universities, clearly shows the immense rewards of efforts thanks to the consistent and caring guidance and support of the dedicated faculty of Enko Lagate International School, led by the University Admissions and Guidance Counselor. Okay, all went a long way to bring about these achievements. All wouldn't be possible without you. I particularly thank my colleagues, members of staff, for the tireless, not forget the discipline, seriousness, and assiduity which the students exhibited during their stay here. I also would want to thank the parents for their constant support and involvement at school. Classroom. The instances when I used to tell you that I am tired with you and cannot wait to see you uh, leave the school. I you had to submit. Lastly, I will not forget that period. After lockdown, that the IB extended the IA the final corrections and submit your IAs so that we meet the deadline. Thank you so much because your hard work and resilience paid off and all went well. I seize this opportunity to tell most students in the school community, bring to the wider community the values that you developed over the years at Enko Lagate International School and how, la how to live your lives, especially in these unprecedented times. Right now, you are all waiting, preparing, calculating, and working out what this brave new world would look like. But I can't think of a better prepared group of individuals than you, our graduates, our Enkola Lagrete graduates, the ones that I remotely see in front of me. Your IB learner profile traits have prepared you for this flood in the unknown skills and find a way to make the most of the storms and challenges that life throws at you. I am confident that the trending IBDP developed internationally minded people who recognized the world. The past two years have been wonderful working with you, learning about you and watching you grow. If you forget everything, abide by one thing, be kind. I wish you a fantastic future filled with meaning. Congratulations. Thank you and welcome back. It is with another uplifting message. Dear graduating class, um, a warm, actually a cold hello from, uh, from Jerberg. Uh, as you know, it's, uh, it's winter here. Um, I would have loved to uh, travel and pronounce that uh, a special note for the other graduating uh, cohorts, especially the IGCSC one. Uh, Congratulations for making it that far. Uh, still, still, uh, still a few, a few years to go before before getting your your, your diploma. Uh, but it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a beautiful uh, milestone, well worth celebrating. All the best, everyone, and um, good luck with uh, all the your future uh, the future challenge you will set to yourselves. Thank you and welcome back. The most significant moment in every graduation ceremony has come. May we call on Mr. Mermule Amos, the Cambridge coordinator for the commencement exercises of the graduating class of ISP5. Mr. Head of School, I present to you the graduating class of IGCSC 2020. The following students have satisfactorily completed the mandatory requirements prescribed by ENCO Education for Middle School Graduation, thereby demonstrating satisfactory evidence of academic competence and exemplary moral attitude, and are therefore entitled to this certificate. They are... In 
Innocensev, Carmen Elodie. <laughs> Mohamed Ibn Tujani Alifa. <laughs> Aliuko Zanga Mathieu Florin. Hezron Hope Andong Anik <laughs> Nanga Aranui Awasu <laughs> Dofara Josias Ephraim <laughs> Evina Cyril Ozil Marilu Gabche Aswaba Brianna Hawa Perin Kumanda Tendri Nyavo Iandirina Lin Paola Jupan Kwete Kenny Winnie Daphne Diam Gabriela Mat Victoire Bangé Maxime Gignon Mwafo Sinyo Leticia Diana Jomo Meka Rav Gangso Sunji Sanjun Darel Mari Len Mari Flora Toke Chantal Andrea Sako Tenayo Amel Thank you and welcome back. Echo Education works closely with families to help their children achieve their goal. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. Kayu Telesport, Enko Lagete Parent Representative. Monsieur le fondateur de Enko Education, j'ai nommé Cyril Conchou et Eric Pignot. Madame la fondatrice du complexe scolaire Lagete. Madame le country manager, Enco Cameroun. Monsieur le directeur, Enco Lagueté Yaoundé. Madame la coordinatrice Heidi. Monsieur le coordinateur, Cambridge. Messieurs les enseignants, chers élèves, chers parents, mesdames, messieurs. Nous sommes ici ce jour pour célébrer l'excellence. L'excellence académique de nos enfants qui sont arrivés en fin de cycle Cambridge et en fin de cycle IB. Comme vous le savez, cette célébration se tient dans un contexte particulier, ce contexte marqué par le coronavirus. Ce coronavirus qui nous a amenés et qui a amené le monde entier, toutes les structures, à pouvoir trouver des moyens et des méthodes pour pouvoir s'adapter. C'est ainsi que ENCO, par exemple, pour survenir et accomplir sa mission d'éducation pour les élèves en cette année, a été obligé de continuer avec des cours en ligne. 
Que peut-on retenir positivement de ce coronavirus La créativité et l'imagination. Chers enfants, soyez créatifs et imaginatifs. Cette créativité, cette imagination vont vous aider à dénouer plusieurs problèmes qui vont se placer dans le cursus de votre éducation et dans votre carrière dans les années futures. Chers élèves, chers enfants, du peu de temps que j'ai passé à la tête de l'association des parents d'élèves, ENCO, j'ai pu déceler deux caractères qui animent tous ces parents et je voulais partager avec vous. Tous les parents ENCO sont ambitieux. Tous les parents ENCO sont déterminés. Cette ambition se manifeste par le fait que ces parents ont embrassé un système international et c'est dans ce système international qu'ils ont bien voulu vous inscrire afin que vous accédiez à des universités internationales et par-delà que vous puissiez mettre des projets sur pied qui auront un impact mondial, pour ne pas dire un impact également sur le plan africain et sur le plan camerounais. La détermination de vos parents se manifeste par les moyens financiers, matériels, l'énergie et le temps qu'ils mettent à votre disposition pour que vous puissiez réussir. Donc, chers enfants, à l'image de vos parents, soyez ambitieux, soyez déterminés. Je voulais également partager avec vous un deuxième modèle. Ce modèle est lié à la structure dans laquelle vous avez cheminé. Je veux dire INCO. Les fondateurs d'INCO ont été dans les universités internationales, comme vous également, vous vous préparez à accéder à ces universités. Et une fois achevé les études là-bas, ils sont rentrés en Afrique et ont mis en place une vision. C'est à cette vision que nous avons adhéré et c'est pour ça que nous sommes là aujourd'hui. Donc, chers enfants, à l'image des fondateurs de cet institut, ayez une vision claire. Chers parents, chers élèves, Monsieur le Directeur, je profite de cette occasion pour remercier tout le staff de l'Association des parents d'élèves qui m'a accompagné durant tout ce temps, mais particulièrement M. Camden Pierre pour son dévouement, sa disponibilité et son activisme pour la réussite de nos enfants en collaboration avec le staff de l'école. Je profite également à cette occasion pour remercier tous les parents pour leur, qui ont pu assister à plusieurs réunions au courant de l'année, mais particulièrement les parents qui ont pu animer une activité que nous avons dénommée ici « Carrier Day ». Je remercie les enseignants pour leur dévouement, tout en les encourageant de faire mieux dans les années à venir et pour les générations futures. Je terminerai ici en remerciant le directeur de cet institut, avec tout son staff, pour leur sens d'ouverture, de dévouement. Nous avons eu plusieurs réunions ensemble. Ça n'a pas toujours été très facile, compte tenu des points de vue divergents entre parfois les parents et le staff de l'école. Mais à chaque instant, nous avons pu juste trouver le juste milieu qui a pu permettre à nos enfants de continuer à mener les études dans de très très bonnes conditions. En conclusion, chers élèves, chers enfants, soyez ambitieux à l'image de vos parents, soyez déterminés à l'image de vos parents, fixez vos objectifs clairs et une vision claire à l'image des fondateurs de cet institut ENCO, par la créativité et l'imagination, vous mettrez en place des projets les plus ambitieux, des projets les plus innovants pour des générations futures. Je vous remercie. Thank you and welcome back. This year is a special year. I am certain that in the beginning of the year, you would have never thought you would be assisting to a graduation ceremony in front of a computer. 
Nonetheless, my dear seniors, you're ending your high school career in a unique way, like the unique class that you are. Let's welcome again Madame Veronica Alogo, the IBDP coordinator for the commencement exercises of the graduating class of DP2. The head of school, I present to you the graduating class of 2020. The following students have satisfactorily completed the mandatory requirements prescribed by ENCO Education for high school graduation, thereby demonstrating satisfactorily evidence of academic competence and exemplary moral attitude, and are therefore entitled to this certificate. We are Tankam Therese Madeleine Ngaku. Kemoy Foze Richie. Zanga King Francel Diandra. Bange Do Li Sandra Leila. Zanga Jinang Ilian Rutoli. Ansa Nambi Minswa Ilianjinina. Evina Evina Mike Jodi. Kingdom Marion Maro. Ayangma Ayangma Marina Emily. Ateba Marie Therese. Amadu Umaru Malik. Polo, Juan Polo, Luis, Luis. Siencho, Chicamen, Lisa, Audrey. Zono Kwemen Liz Taylor. Kayo Kangwen Saluma. Kayo Kandem Adonis. Nana Zoko Yan Gai.
sale Javi Spencer. Juan Camden Gerard Lee. Emanuela Enangue. Gapche Cheryl Asukwa. Awasu Anye Nathan. Rana Vozong Ansa Feizuru. Haman Mana Mia Tesi. Gongo Matendi Eva Nelly. Median Gilimum Ashley Susan Suma Ewudu Brady Oswald Gako Wekam Enes Jonathan. Welcome back. At this point, let us be all ears to no less than the valedictorian herself, as she summarizes everything high school life has to offer. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Eva Nelly Nguongo. Hi everybody. It was quite a surprise, but still an honor to be the valedictorian of DP2 2020 at Encola Gete. Still, I'm just a senior offering her reflections on four remarkable years in international programs. I've been a Cambridge and an IB student for two years respectively, and one thing I can say is that it's made me more open-minded and knowledgeable on top of many other things. But if you still ask me why I entered these programs, I can't give you an answer. But I'm glad I did, because as Tom Peter said, if a window of opportunities shows itself, don't pull down the shade. In the end, we can't be more proud than just knowing we took on the challenge, no matter the outcome. Their graduating class of 2020, it's obvious this graduation is, one, is going to be one of the most unusual. We won't be walking down halls filled with our loved ones, ready to grab our certificate, or having a full day of celebration because we craved for this moment for so long. But guess what? We're still graduating. We made it. After crossing off countless days on our calendar, juggling between lessons, IA, and all the work we had, after being anxious every day due to the exam and be sleep deprived, we can finally cross this chapter of our lives. It's all these little things we had in common that made sharing this year with all my mates so special. Yet it's still sad to see it all come to an end. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy all the stress is over, but I'm going to miss our long talks, our endless laughs, 
our insightful conversations and debates, and especially our lifelong connections. One more thing we should know is we should embrace the uncertainty of being a postgrad. And Co was a good time in our lives, but now we need to go with our minds made up and ready to face the challenges head on, starting chapters and being whoever we want to be. Dear faculty, thanks for the work and the effort you put into making our achievement possible. Most of you dealt with us, and some of you knew we had potential even when it didn't look like it. Dear parents, thanks for your continuous sacrifice, the trust, the pep talk, the cheering on, and doing everything in your power to give us the best. It wasn't always easy for you, and we are grateful. Thanks for pushing us even when we believed we were at our limits. And to all the upcoming DP2 students, good luck. You're going to need it. Because let me tell you what, the IB is not a walk in the garden. It's hard. But I believe if you think you can do it, you can. Just put your mind to it. And as Brian Tracy said, decide what you want and then act as if it were impossible to fail. Trust me, giving up is the birthplace of regret. Thank you. Thank you and welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing Mr. Remy Lamont, the Abbey World Schools Manager. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Hello to everyone. Dear students of Encola Laguette, cohort of 2020, I am very happy to be with you. I know it's only reportly. I am here in the Netherlands from The Hague, where the IB office is, but I am very happy to be part of your graduation ceremony 2020. Wow, what a year, what a cohort you are. 28 graduates, 100% of full DP for all of you, and all of you accepted to the best universities worldwide, the one you have chosen. That is amazing, congratulations for all of that. You must feel so much better now that this year has been finished. I remember when I was your age and I was dreaming to move around the world, to discover it thanks to university. This year is a special one. I guess you all agree with me. You are what I would call double survivors. First of all, you survived DP. You survived the IAs, the extended essay, the TOK course, the CAS. You survived all of that, I am sure with a big smile, from time to time, maybe some tears, because it may happen. Life, sadly, is not always made of smiles, but you succeeded it. You learned a lot through all of that. Thanks to the approach to teaching and learning, you are able to work by yourself. You are lifelong learners, and the tools you have learned, thanks to your teacher, would be your tool for your entire life. It is your assets. You will be listened to, you will be able to communicate properly, to speak with everyone. You are open, you can understand the world, and you are there to support and help everyone all around you. Well, you survived that. That is not easy. You know that DP students always in the world says how much hard it is. But all of them, when they became alumni, which is your case now, you will be IB alumni, they go back and they say, by the way, what I learned is so useful. And I hope you will have the same discovery. Why did I say you are double survivors? Well, all, all of you, you survived COVID-19. You are the COVID-19 survivors. You had the first session ever where exams did not happen. But it doesn't mean anything. Your diploma is as good as for everyone else before. You have succeeded in a very difficult time. You had to go through remote learning. You had to go through difficulties, maybe sickness in your own families danger all around the world, block, lockdown, etc. This is not easy, and you succeeded, here again. And I hope that the education you received is the one that helped you to move forward. I chose to be in front of this, it is a copy, of course a copy, I'm just working for the IB, uh, a copy of a picture made by Courbet. Courbet was a famous French painter in the 19th century. And I love this painting. You see here, this little person is the painter himself, and he's taking out his hat and saying goodbye in front of the sea. And for me, this is exactly the way you are today. We are all saying goodbye to you. You will move all around the world, for universities all around the world, 
that will make sadness because you will lose some of your friends because you won't see them at university, but you will never close the door with them. You are together. You are working together. You went through the IB, you ran through COVID-19 together, and you are strong now, and you will move forward. This little goodbye has a tear of a goodbye, but in the same way, the happiness of something new. You are the IP generation. You are the one who will be leading the world in a few years. And your role is extremely important. I believe in you, like we all do in the IB. The IB generation knows how much sustainability is important, how much the world has to grow through environment issues, crises like this pandemic, etc. You will be the one to find the solution. My generation may have failed for you or may not have succeeded as much as you would have loved to. Now it's your turn. You will find the solution. You will save the planet we all love so much. In another things, you are in Africa. The Africa is the future of the world. You are a continent with so many young people. This generation will have to save it. You have seen the bad news in the States, but everywhere in the world, how much racism is still present. Help the world to get better. As you have seen, the IB has clearly taken the position that racism is a awful thing and that we have to improve it. It's thanks to people like you, people who went through an open-minded generation, who can share with the old world who you are, your strengths, and what you want. Please do it. Be able to fight for what you believe in. The world has to become a better place. It has to start in the relationship one-to-one -one we have, you, I, with your friends, your families, people you meet. But we can be strong together and we can succeed all the way through. Africa is very important in my mind. As you can see, I am always thinking of Africa and this statue reminds me how much your continent will lead to the future. This image can be a sad face if you look at this statue, but for me it's an important one. It's looking in the future, it's clothing the eyes because the world has not been as great as evolved, but the, the bird that you can see on the top of the statue is here to remind to everyone that something will happen, a future is coming. I am with you. I am happy to be there. I would like to thank you for this day, to thank Mr. Akimbo for inviting me. I wish you the best. You are a great generation. You are the leader for tomorrow. Thanks a lot for everything. Get a great celebration. Life is starting. University and then your own life as citizen of the world. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Have a great summer. Thank you and welcome back. To inspire our graduates, we shall hear an important speech from Ms. Gune Gufak Doris, an alumni representative from Oregon State University, USA. Enko Lagite, class of 2020, at Oregon State University, majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology. When I was told that I was chosen to represent the Enko Lagite International School alumni at this graduation ceremony, I was delighted and felt honored. For the past week, I was pondering on the speech I was going to make, and for some reason, I seemed not to find the words that will leave you with the impact I wanted. At the end of the day, I decided to let my heart speak for itself. This year has been a hard chase. From the outbreak of the coronavirus, the implementation of social distancing, the cancellation of school and IB exam, the loss of jobs and the loss of loved ones, family members, friends or acquaintances who became part of the statistics of lives lost due to COVID-19. I understand that in this period of uncertainty, you might be wondering what the future holds for you, new graduates. I know what it is to go through the IB curriculum. When we start our IB journey, we set our expectations so high.
from our parents who go above and beyond to pay our tuition and school supplies to our teachers who give us the knowledge required for us to succeed to the spotlights on us the pressure is real these expectations set we burn the midnight candles hoping that it pays off Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. In 2018, there was no COVID-19. Yet, I and some of my peers were in a state of uncertainty. We didn't know what to expect for the future. In August 2018, I remember lying on my bed and receiving messages from my friends informing me they were about to take their flights. They were heading to university. There was I, staring on my ceiling, having a flashback on how few months ago I was on a full ride scholarship and by the time I had closed my eyes and opened, it was all gone. Yes, you heard me right. In August 2018, when my friends were heading to college, I didn't know what the future would be like for me. In that period of uncertainty and doubt, I kept on asking myself the questions. What had, I, what had I done wrong? Had I not worked hard enough? Had I not burned enough of the midnight candles? On that day, as I thought about all these questions, I sat down on my computer looking for more opportunities oh yes that's what i did i decided not to give up i decided to bounce back dear graduates i told you that on august 2018 i didn't know where i was going to go because i had lost everything guess what in september 19 2018, one month later, I was at Oregon State University, ready to start my first year of college. I know, right? You see, dear graduates, like Nelson Mandela said, I never lose. I either win or I learn. Life will teach you lessons. You better learn them once they come. Because if you don't, they will come back again and again until you finally grasp them. My experience was an opportunity for me to learn. One of the things that I learned is that it is good to have high expectations, but do not forget to be realistic and flexible. The most important thing is not the university you attend. No matter where you go, the most important thing is what you do with the things you are being taught. It's how you use the knowledge, what you know, to make changes and positive impacts in your community. When I started my IB journey, I didn't know I was going to end at Oregon State University. Was I got there, I realized they had an amazing engineering and science program. I even got inspired by their scholarship committee and started the Enco Lagete Mentor Mentee program, which some of you took part in last year. I am telling you this story to let you know that in this life, things will not always turn out the way we want it to. And this is because God has a different plan for us. Most of the time, his plan is what we need. His plan is what is best for us. As you go out to the world, do not forget to come back to the organization and the people who for the past two years or more contributed in making you the striving young adolescents you are today. Some of you like me are first generation students. Some of you are trying to blaze a trail and to ascend new heights for your family. 
Maybe sometimes it's hard for you to believe that you can reach your goals and you want to give up. You have the responsibility to be great and be successful, to honor your parents and the sacrifices they made for you to be successful. In these unpredictable times, no matter what the outcome is in the next months, I want you to stay strong. I want you to tell yourself that in one way or the other, you deserve to be successful. Do not give up, no matter what the outcome turn out to be. Be ready to bounce back. You deserve to be successful. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be proud of yourself and to make your family proud. If there's one thing you have to remember from all what I said today is not to give up and be ready to bounce back. Tap yourself on your shoulder and say, yes, I mean. Thank you and welcome back. Last but certainly not least, let me introduce our beloved Mr. Bamidele Akimbo, the founding head of school of Enko Lagite International School. The class of 2020, a big congratulations. There is no contesting the fact that COVID-19 has changed the way we do almost everything in our lives. The absence of an in-person graduation will seem to have robbed all of you the opportunity of the rites of passage you have planned for in the last three months. In the weeks to this day, affect your anger, sadness, disappointment, and confusion over the cancellation. Your class, you must know, is a very unique one by all dimensions. You are the first class in the 52 years history of the IB to not sit the external examinations. The first class to experience historical analytics way of assessment. You are also the first class to experience the disruption of teaching and learning occasioned by a global pandemic. It is equally the first time that the Cambridge will cancel all examination, examinations since the Second World War. As we celebrate your achievements visually today, you belong to the first class to experience a virtual graduation ceremony among the network of ENCO education schools. Can you see how unique you are? As a matter of fact, the whole world knows about your class and will always remember you. The speakers before me have said a lot about how you have to fit in the new world that we now have. I don't want to say that the sky is your limit. That phrase would have made more sense before the advent of COVID-19. However, COVID-19 has proven to us that limitlessness is when there is an end in view. But the global event of the last seven months has proven that there is no end to how creative and imaginative we can get. Consequently, I charge you to utilize the sky as a means to further heights. It is important that you see this virtual graduation as the I can do attitude against any human circumstances you may face in the future. Look back on this day and say to challenges that will come your way as nothing but calls for other alternatives. With a display of the needed resilience, commitment, and dedication to a successful completion of the IB and IG programs, I am sure that this defining moment in the world will constantly remind you that you can. Don't be afraid to chart your own direction and never ever be afraid to take on the road never taken before. To our DP 2020 graduates, you will be going to study in communities that require some confidence from you. Confidence is crucial to your success in the university. The IB has exposed you to the world and you have acquired a commendable level of confidence to utilize the opportunities these communities will bring your way. In the midst of COVID-19, raising bread is ugly head again. As you commence your education, 
Do not be intimidated by social status, race, or posture. You are uniquely made and always know that you have something to offer the world. Maintaining a high level of confidence is thus very important. A lack of it can be disastrous to the successful utilization of those opportunities, those communities will bring in your way. It feeds you with negative thoughts and you will start criticizing yourself and thus you may end up in a conclusion that you are simply useless. You are not useless. This may even lead to a serious psychological problems and suicidal tendency. I charge you to please never go this way. Personally, I've experienced occasions where some people associated with me based on my skin color. These people lack the confidence to go out of their cultural boundary and interconnect with other cultures. My culture is not a reflection of my skin and therefore my skin does not define what I can offer and I have always proven that over the years. You too must refuse the limited by such people. To our Cambridge graduates, congratulations on your successful completion of the IGCSE. I am very confident that you will all join us for your IB journey. You now have the requisite training to survive the IB years, and I do sincerely hope that your parents will meet the application deadline for DP1 admission. I won't end my speech without thanking all your parents for believing in us, the faculty for understanding and supporting you, and the non-academic staff for ensuring the operations of the school. Many thanks to our guest speaker, Remy Lamont, and to the representative of our alumni, Gunnar Doris, for those inspiring speeches. Lastly, special thanks to Mr. Siri Konchu and Mr. Eric Pion. Two courageous freak seekers whose vision six years ago we celebrate today. To our colleagues in the central office, to our regional director, Jeanette, and our country manager, Mira Kuchu, I say thank you. To the class of 2020, once again, congratulations. Thank you and welcome back. Thank you very much for attending the commencement exercises 2020. My name is Jade Jemba and I was your moderator. J -J 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 -J